tumors started coming back, another one, and he was going downhill fast. And at night, I was again sleeping in his room. I prayed that he would have a vision that would comfort him. The next morning, he's sitting up in bed smiling. And I said, you're looking good, Dave. And he goes, do you see that? And I go, no, I don't see it. I don't see what you mean. And he said, you don't see that? It's real. And I knew then he was having a vision that my prayers had been answered. And I asked him, well, what do you see? And he said, mountains, a whole range of mountains. You know, that was a spiritual home. And I said, what else do you see? And he said, people, white. Uh, I said, angels? And he goes, yes, angels, feathers. I said, what are they doing? And he said, music. I said, are they singing to you? And he said, no. Are they playing musical instruments? Yes. I said, how do you feel seeing it? Do you feel comforted? And he goes, oh, yeah. And he was sleeping most of the time. I knew that was a sign that he's, he's slipping away. I said, is God calling you home? <laughs> I said, do you want to go home? And he said, yes. I want you to go, be with God, be with the angels. It's going to be beautiful. And that was it. I was grieving, of course, and even though I knew he was in a happier place. 